Hey folks, here's a quick tutorial on how to load a caulk gun so you can get a great seal every time. Before we start, make sure you've picked the right sealant for your project. I recommend a GE branded 100% silicone sealant for sealing anywhere that needs long lasting waterproof, weatherproof, or mold free product protection. For tight spaces, smaller projects, or quick repairs, you can try using a GE sealant squeeze tube. With a squeeze tube, you'll simply cut the nozzle tip like you would on a full size sealant cartridge and then squeeze out the sealant, no caulk gun required. But large scale projects will definitely require a cartridge and a caulk gun, so follow these steps to load your caulk gun properly. First, use a utility blade to carefully cut the tip of the sealant cartridge open at a 45 degree angle. There are two ways that you can cut your cartridge. We recommend a utility blade, but some caulk guns have a tool to cut the tip of the cartridge as well. Your sealant cartridges may have an inner foil seal that you'll need to pierce. Most caulk guns have a metal rod for this purpose. It's right there. Swivel the rod around and insert it into the cartridge nozzle and you'll puncture the inner foil. If your caulk gun doesn't have this rod, you can just use a long nail instead. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Now we're ready to load the sealant cartridge into the caulk gun. First, press the release trigger on the handle and pull the plunger all the way back. Then insert the cartridge heel first into the caulk gun. Squeeze the trigger a few times and run a test bead of sealant to get a feel for it. Now you're ready to seal like a pro. Once you're finished sealing, it's time to unload the caulk gun. Press the release trigger again and pull back the plunger. Then remove the cartridge. Now you're ready for a successful project with the help of GE sealants. Check out our other how-to videos for more sealant tutorials. GE branded sealants, high performing products you can always trust to get the job done right.